Hey everyone, it is February and it is time to get set up for the National Farm Machinery Show, which is going to start next week. I am on my way down to Louisville, Kentucky right now, just a little over three hours from my house. And uh, some tractors are here already, so I'm going to go down and start setting up the versatile display. Still got some equipment rolling in today. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the whole process of setting up the farm show. From what I'm seeing and reading, there's going to be a bunch of farm YouTubers down here at the show next week. So I'm sure there's going to be plenty of videos covering the farm show. So my video, you know, it's going to be a little different just showing you the setup process. So hope everyone enjoys it. And here's how the whole thing goes. Welcome to Kentucky. And here's a peek at the Ohio River in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. And I have officially made it to the bluegrass state. Temperature is one degree above the freezing mark, so it's been a long time since I've been in such warm temperatures, but it'll be a nice break, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll be going here a time or two. And here's my home for the next three nights. Made it. Look at all those versatiles. Here I am at the Kentucky Exposition Center. Uh, we got about all our equipment here, did not get any unloading shots, but we're gonna move stuff over to the other parking lot here and we can get our stuff washed and we're kind of ahead of the game here, which is a good thing because I could tell you some real horror stories about stuff coming in late, weather, stuff like that. But anyways, I'm gonna move this Versatile 405 and this high speed fury disc over to the other parking lot and uh, got Ryan, a co-worker here with me. He's gonna help me get stuff moved around and uh, we'll see how it goes from here. This tractor came in yesterday. Apparently when they unloaded it, they turned the key backwards and left the accessory. So we had a dead battery here. I was able to get it jump started, so, so far that's the only hang up we've had. Looks like they're ready to put our carpet down. Some of the counters are here, so things are moving along nicely. And here's a look at the Expo Center with nothing in it. Well, all the equipment is here. It's 50 degrees outside. Just waiting on the wash crew to get here, and then we can start moving stuff inside. So, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good as far as uh, show setup goes.
That's really all I can do for today until the carpet's down and the equipment's washed, so I'm going to head over, check into the hotel. For setup week, I stay over here at the Hilton Garden Inn just outside the Expo Center. And here we are the very next day. The wash crew is here cleaning up our equipment. The Louisville, Kentucky Airport is just outside the Expo Center here. This is also a huge hub for UPS, so there's a lot of airplanes coming in and out of this airport. And the carpet's going down now. After they lay the carpet, they lay this plastic over top. That way we can move our equipment in, set up, and you don't dirty up the carpet. Ford Motor Company has a plant here in Louisville, Kentucky, where they build, I believe, the F-250s, F-350s, and maybe other models. But due to the chip shortage, I guess, all these are brand new pickup trucks sitting here, all fenced in just outside the Expo Center. However, they did move them out before the show. And it was lunchtime, so we found a new place down the road called Holy Smokes Barbecue. And it was pretty good. So we got to try out the ribs, brisket, and chicken. It's all coming together. They won't let us move any equipment in today, but the company that puts up our counters and tower and stuff is here, and they're able to get started on that. Looks like first thing tomorrow morning we'll be able to drive our equipment in and get it parked here on the lot. After a good night's sleep, here we are the next day with everything lined up, ready to be pulled inside. All right, we got the okay for Thursday morning to start moving equipment in. I'm in the Versatile 405, got the Fury behind me. So we're gonna get this in here and I, we're gonna unhook the disc, get these on display, we'll get everything moved in. Uh, you can see we got a nice sunny day here in the Louisville, 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 Kentucky area. So uh, yeah, let's get this thing uh, moving, get this show on the road.
Okay, so we got everything inside and parked and uh, we are in pretty good shape. Got the TV tower up, just gotta hang some TVs there. Um, but yeah, this is a good feeling, six days before the show. All the equipment's in and uh, clean and all that good stuff. So uh, I think I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna go back home to Ohio for a few days and come back and uh, finish up the brochures and that kind of stuff right before the show starts. Looks like they're getting the dirt moved in, getting the track built for the indoor track. All right, uh, back at the show here Monday before the show starts. So I went home for the weekend and a lot of things have happened since I was here last. Uh, everybody else has moved in the building that wasn't here. We got a couple uh, Cummins engines that have come in in the crates over there, so we're going to get those rolled out and set up. We got some furniture here, so we got some, uh, looks like we got a couch, some chairs, uh, two maybe sofas, a table, whatnot, so people should be able to come to the show and get comfortable. But anyways, uh, we got today and tomorrow to get the final setup done. We got to pull the plastic up off the carpet and so forth, but uh, looks like everything is shined up and about ready to go, so the rest of my co-workers should be here later today. And, um, yeah, we should uh, be ready for a good show. Yeah, we'll get this furniture unwrapped here, get that parked. I've uh, got these signs to put together. And then here's some Cummins displays. So we've got two different engines. We've got a 6.7 liter and a 15. And then some of the lighting and stuff that goes up around it. So we'll get these moved. But first, let's take a look inside. This is the 6.7 liter, and right behind me should be the X15 in that crate. Can't quite open these up or roll them out right here, so we'll have to move the crate since the doors are facing each other. But just look at that. It's all coming together. I'm going to head up and get checked into the hotel room. So during the show, we stayed downtown. There's a Holiday Inn Express right up here. So just head up 65 from the show, take uh, 64 over towards St. Louis, get off here and downtown. The destination is on your right. Holiday Inn Express and Suites. Oh wow, the furniture crew's here. Thanks guys. No problem. No problem. Watch yourself. Bring her back. They don't go for that. Wow. Beautiful. Woo! Wow. When you just look at it. So what we got here is we got a Cummins 6.7 liter stage 5 diesel engine, turbocharged and all. I mean, look at this. We got these chrome uh, spark plug lines here. I mean, we, we got, a, I mean, the heavy duty. Uh, Fleet guards. Yeah. I mean, wow. I mean, look at that. Look at that flywheel, guys. Look at that flywheel. I mean, look at, I mean, that is. Hey, how many, how many cylinders do you think this is? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the Bluetooth. <laughs> Look at that. We got a big X15 coming. All 
All right, I know a lot of people think I got it made, but my job does have a lot of responsibility. This is probably the most important thing I'm gonna do here for the company today. Empty. All right, I did my part now, so. I'm pretty sure before the show is gonna be our only time to test out this furniture, and it's pretty comfortable. We're all set up, so we're gonna head back to the hotel, come back tomorrow for the first day of the show. And here's the view from my room at the Holiday Inn Express of downtown Louisville. In the morning when I took my walk just four blocks up from our hotel is what they call 4th Street Live. This is supposed to be a pretty popular hangout area of Louisville, so I walked up through here and here's just a couple shots of that at 5.30 in the morning. I did end up here one night with a couple versatile dealers and some company employees at the PBR. And of course, there was a lot of pretty good restaurants uptown as well. So I start every day out at the National Farm Machinery Show with breakfast at the Cracker Barrel. I mean, this is the only way to start the day. All right, now that I just left the Cracker Barrel having the most important meal of the day in me, we're here at the show site, so this is day number one. You can see they pulled the plastic up here, so let's take a walk around the versatile display. And still got a little over an hour before the gates actually open, so I'm going to walk around the show a little bit here before things kick off and look around while I can. I personally would rather leave the hotel a little bit early in the morning, get to the Cracker Barrel, beat the crowd, and not have to wait in traffic outside. And if I gotta wait for the show to start, I'd rather do it inside here than out in the truck. I know when I walked around there was some empty spaces. I was told there was 39 different vendors throughout the show that pulled out and were not here this year. Anyways, Let's take a walk around. We'll start off with the Titan Tire booth just across from us right here. Then there's a pulling tractor over here just caddy core from us. We'll check that out. And then we're going to head over and check out the big stuff. Out in the hallway here is the 164th farm display this has been here the last several years but they changed it up a bit this is more just a planting and haying scene where they did have some harvest in here in years past anyways i'll take a couple minutes walk around we'll check it out together
I need to get back to the versatile display. It's time for the show to open up. Anyways, there were several different farm uh, influencers, YouTubers, Instagrammers, and so forth here at the show. I met a lot of them. You can see the sign there. Unverfirth had a meet and greet for Brian's farming videos and Larson Farms. I did talk to Brian. Of course, I've known him several years. Larson Farms, I never got the chance to meet him. But uh, they were here at the show, I think, a couple different days. And here's a time lapse of the versatile display on day number one. As you can see, lots of people coming and going here. It was a very busy day at the show. I think overall the crowd was pretty good. It started out kind of slow each day. Uh, gates opened at 9, then about 10 o'clock people started coming in. It was pretty steady till about 4 o'clock. And here it is, day number two. Started out just like yesterday at the Cracker Barrel. Now I am walking around the show before it starts. I'm going to head over here to the Eggco display and check out what they have. Eggco probably has the biggest display here at the farm show. Lots of fence stuff here, as you can see. Day number three of the show starts. I'm just going to drive by here, show you some of the rigs of the tractor pull we're setting outside the arena. Now, as I said earlier, I did not make it to the tractor pull while I was here at the show, but I did walk over to the arena here, and let's just have a look at the track here before the show starts. There is a tractor pull every night after the show, and then on Saturday, the last day, I believe they have a midday and an evening pull. The tractor pull is held in Freedom Hall. And now, on the last day before the show starts, I'll head over here to the West Wing and we'll check out a few displays over here.
I stayed pretty busy during the show meeting a lot of fans that follow me on YouTube and Instagram and whatnot. There were several other farm YouTubers and influencers here at the show. Here's pictures of some of the ones I got pictures with. I didn't get pictures with everybody. Now, several of these uh, people I've known for a lot of years. Others I just met for the first time. I've had a YouTube channel for exactly 10 years now, and I know the first couple years, you know, you'd work the show and occasionally, you know, maybe a couple times a day, somebody would come up and say something, hey, you know, you're that guy that has those videos on YouTube, whatnot. Well, now, just the last four or five years, it's just pretty much nonstop. I mean, there's times I'm talking to somebody, I look back and I'll see you know, up to six uh, plus more groups waiting to talk to me. I do my best to get out there and talk to everyone, but sometimes it's really hard, and it's definitely hard to try to slip away sometimes when I need to use the restroom or go to lunch break, whatnot, but I do my best to try to meet and talk to everybody, and thanks to all of those who stopped by the show to talk to me, and uh, look forward to talking to you again at a future show. Now, I'm uploading this video a week after the show. I'm sure there's several other YouTube videos of the show. I haven't got to check them out yet. But anyways, this is my version of it. Thanks for watching. All right, that is going to do it for the 2022 National Farm Machinery Show. I am leaving a day early, so I will be back at the show next year.